So I'm gonna go over both sets. <coughs> so I'm starting the next one, which means I'm gonna not read chat after this. All right. So start FD. All right. I think he could have got a fair after that. I think, dude, I'm pretty sure he could combo that near. Let me see. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. So here's the thing. He could try to get the com The Nair is good because it can combo, right? But Acebox is going to hold away because he doesn't want to get comboed. I think he tried to, mint to do a tipper F smash. He tried to get a quick kill off tipper F smash. But I think he should just do a keep running, like run under Puff or run, run, fur run, run a little bit further because Marv could run faster than Puff can drift. And then you could commit to your fair. Or not because... No, you're at zero. Marf's at zero, so you might as well just go for it. Because you're not even, even if you get pounded or up aired, you're not gonna get combo that hard. So since Marf's at zero, he might as well just go for the next fair. Of course, Puff's gonna hold away and then try to fair in case Marf misses. I oh, thank you, Cutie Pie nine seven six or sub. I see. All right. See, he's now he's now this set he's doing Death Dance fair. This is this is good because it's safe. Go, look, even if you miss, you can just drift backwards, and if you hit, you get a combo. Not at, at high damage, you don't get much though. Which is why it's annoying, but it's Zane's good at killing. So if he just gets better uh, neutral in the matchup, he'll, he should be fine. Because he's already good at the killing part, which is the part I suck at. Because I don't pivot with Marf. Um, let's see. I, I actually don't know how to juggle Julie Puff with Marf. I think I think Puff could just keep mixing up left and right drift and double jumps. I actually don't know what Marf's supposed to do with juggle. So I, I actually have no advice here on that spot. And keep in mind, this is what Acebox did before uh, against Zane's Marf. Uh, it, so see how, see how Acebox is cornered? Look, well, let's look at this. Right here, he's just swinging in there, right? Because he doesn't want to get hit. Right now, it, Zane has all the center stage. He could just like short hop react, land with fair, uh, up air, wave land, like all these mix-ups, double drama, just all these mix-ups just from being around here. So what he does instead is he dashes over here, and it's like, you're not really going to dash dance grab Marf. Like, yeah, you could dash dance fair, but you don't even get that much reward. It's better just to hold your ground in this floaty battle, I think. Just don't let Puff get back to center, because look, now now that Puff's coming down, now Aidsbox has to be, now since Aidsbox is, since Zane's committed to dash dancing, Aidsbox could mix up, like, landing aerials, or if he thinks Marf's going to up air, he can just drift to the right and wait for the miss. Or he can do a tomahawk up tilt or something like it. He has more mix-ups because he let him get to this spot. He should just hold his ground here, I think, <coughs> in this particular matchup. Okay. And he tried to get a pound again. He really loves to pound Marf. <coughs> he did a, uh, let's see. Ah, so again, he uh, he called out Zane's dash dancing. I feel like Zane, he knows Zane's going to dash dance. I feel like Xbox knows Zane's going to dash dance based off the moves he shows. Because look. Right here, he just grabbed. He assumed that Marf would be like dash dancing around the aerial. So maybe Zane should dash dance camp less and just do more other stuff. That was good. See, look, look how good Kraut's cancel is. Like Puff's aerials don't do crap if you just crouch. Crouch. It doesn't matter if you should, even if Puff rests you or up to you. Marf's still crouching. He just gets all that. And if Puff grabs Marf, it's not that big of a deal like with Fox. Like if you get grabbed, it's a lot worse. But if Marf gets grabbed, it's like, it's not that bad. It's nothing guaranteed. You're not going to guarantee to die. Nate's box is, you got all that? Dude, but you only got 24 for all that. Okay, let me explain why I don't agree with this. <coughs> look at, I want you guys to look at the damage that each throw does. Do you know that if 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 he did, if he did like a, a short hop near right here, that okay. Let's just take right here. Let's just in the middle of this sequence. Let's say Marf did a short hop near. Puff would be at 25, right? And that's not including the following fair. So if Marf did a short hop near here, Puff would be at 25. Let's see what happens instead. He gets three more reads and puts him to 24. That's just from the the, the grabs itself. Keep in mind, that short hop near, right there, that one down throw right there, or this forward throw right here, 
Both of those could have comboed to a short hop nair. Marv should be using short hop nair for these combos, especially if they DI upwards. You, if from low percent, you could get two short hop nairs in a row, which is a, it's great for comboing. But even if you don't get that, you could still do a sh sh one short hop nair and then do a full hop fair. Uh, and then you could just keep doing landing fares and double jump fares. And you could put Puff to like, in a good situation, you could get Puff from like 10 to 50 damage in one grab. You can put Puff to 50 damage just from one grab around 10, give or take a bit. Something like that. I've done it before. <coughs> so uh, yeah, I definitely think you should start using short hop nair for these low percent combos. And when it puffs at mid percent or higher, you just do fares. Or do the short hop nair into, f into full hop fares. Because you can get p a lot of guaranteed damage on puff just by doing those things. Instead of doing all this, all this, and then ending it at 24 into neutral. I see. He was... It's but he he that would have beaten it if he was ducking over here, but again that's another reason that uh maybe actually I don't know if dash dance fair is as good on this stage because if Marv misses a dash dance fair he can't retreat to the top platform. On most stages you can retreat to the top platform by doing dash dance fair, but this stage has no platform so if you miss a, a dash dance full hop fair you actually can't retreat. So I, I don't know if I don't know. Again this is a uh, as I said. Uh, Right here, think about Puffs. Of course, this is going to hold away or jump away. Puffs either going to jump away around here or float over here because he doesn't want to get hit by Marf's fair because most Marfs will fair here. But uh, this, this wasn't too bad. Uh, he waited for pound. So his dash dancing was rewarded here because he waited for pound. But uh, yeah. I still think he should do more jabs and wave dash. Wave, I think he should do more jabs and more wave dash towards as mix-ups. Like after that fair, that could have been jab. That would have stopped him from doing, that, would have, that jab would have hit Puff out of the air uh, before the back air came out. And then Puff would have been like around here at Marf's tipper range. Marf could have continued pressure with like down tilt and more stuff while, while still keeping half the stage behind him instead of giving up all the stage by dashing away. And Marf did another empty jump there, and then just got hit. So I would have did fair jab. I would have did fair jab personally. Yeah, not much you can do. Right here, he should do f tipper F smash. Tipper F smash will kill. And here's the thing you gotta understand: Marf's tipper down smash it kills much sooner. It probably kills like 40% or something, right? Marf's tipper F smash near the ledge. I, it'll definitely kill here, I think. I don't even think you have to charge it. Uh, maybe you do. I don't know. But even a charged tipper F smash is easier to land than a down smash. The window for down smash is just, it's just harder. It's harder to get consistently. So if I, if I saw this situation, I'd be like, well, I can just slightly charge F smash and it'll probably kill. He does down smash, but he's too close. And he gets that. When he could have just got an F smash, that probably would have killed. And did more damage, even if it didn't kill. So I don't agree with that. And look, you had all you had all this stage, and you gave it all up by dashing away. Why? Learn, just hold your ground. Look right here. Look, look at this situation. This is really good for Marf, because no matter where Puff goes, if Puff tries to get over Marf, Marf can just keep holding center. But what he does, he he dashes to the middle of the stage. Hold your ground. You're not going to die if you're wrong. You're at zero. Short hop fair, crouch cancel, jabs, all this stuff. Do a move and crouch as a backup. Look, he cornered himself. Okay, it worked there because it's it still worked, but you still cornered yourself. If you ended up losing neutral, it would have not been that great. So I don't agree with that personally. I'm not saying you should never dash dance, but I think Zane does it too much. Like he should cut off the amount of dash dances in this matchup and favor more into holding his ground. I think. <coughs> right there, I think I sh you should short hop. But again, Puff can just keep. Actually, Puff has a lot of landing options on FD. Puff didn't even have to do that. He could have used his five jumps to zigzag and make Marf miss. But he just landed impatiently here. And that's a risk. Uh, it, just, it paid off this time. Now Zane's holding his ground, but he's never doing... I still recommend jab, man. Right here, fair jab. I would have done fair jab and then held down. So look, here's what I think a better autopilot for this matchup. Fair. If you miss, either do jab 
or down tilt or forward tilt. And then right after you start the move, right after you, like let's say you're gonna jab, so you do fair, land, press A. The moment after you press A, start holding down the controller. That way, your, your jab will either hit or trade most likely, but even if you get hit by like puffs bear or trade, you're still holding down and you're still crouch canceling. So you're doing a move with a crouch cancel backup plan. And then you're holding your ground safely and puffs continuing to be at a bad spot. He gave, he gave up his stage and then he's just throwing out moves early. And he's never, he's so far, Zane has yet to threaten a wave dash toward mic to a mix up. You can wave dash toward and to, you don't even have to attack. You could just wave dash toward just to make Puff scared and then you do mix ups. You don't always have to wave dash toward down tilt. But you can wave dash toward crouch and then do all these, any, anything, any mix up. Uh, thank you, Twist Echoes, for the sub. Hbox, I think he was trying to. So Hbox went from a uh, point A to point B here, because look right here. Technically, well, so what? What Hbox did here? Look, look at this. He's jumping from point A to point B, and he's not throwing out a hitbox until here. That means the whole time he tries to get from point A to point B, it's a, uh, it's a risk. So if Zane read that, he could have done any attack and killed Hbox. But since Zane is in the mindset of dash dancing so hard. Uh, Aidsbox was, was able to get free states control back. So that's a repeating theme I see of Aidsbox versus Zane. Is that Aidsbox knows that Zane's going to dash dance and he's giving up states consistently. And as a result of that, uh, Zane's giving up the, when Zane has him cornered, Zane's giving up his advantage like for free almost. Again, I'll just repeat, dashing away is not bad, but I don't think he should be doing it as much as he's currently doing. Not in this matchup, at least. Like right there, you could have done a down tilt or wave dash toward crouch. Like right here, you could have did like down tilt, jab, down or down tilt into jab, or a wave dashing and wave dash right left or just toward, and then do mix ups from crouch, or throw out your sword attack and then crouch as a backup. All this other stuff. Okay, right here, um, he he didn't run far enough. Like, look, right here, you still could have got a kill. He ran to this spot and then jumped. What I would have done is I would have ran to this spot and then jumped. I would have, like, ran, like, maybe two frames longer before jumping. I would have ran right away, ran a bit further and longer on the ground, and then did a jump fair. Remember, Marv travels more per frame on his run than Puff can in the air. So you're still getting closer by doing that. And he swings and misses. He would have gotten that, I think, guaranteed, tip or fair, and maybe killed if he just ran a little bit further. So, yeah. No, look, he didn't have to. S that was greedy. He's in pay he Zane's fishing. Look, right there, he didn't have to go for that. Now, if you're going to go for that, just pull back or something. Because, look, when Marf does a fair, if he misses, he's lingering. So, you don't want to be lagging over here. Because Ace Box is like, he's just floating here. He's like, please do something dumb, Marf. And then Marth did something dumb. And then Acebox is like, oh, Marth did something dumb. I, I get all this for free. Yay, yay. OK, was, this time it was only two hits. But that could have been a lot worse, depending on the situation. He got away from only two hits this time. Yeah, I still would have, I wouldn't have. Gave him this much space. I think as Marf, you can you can hold your ground better. Cause look, well, even if Acebox got if even if Marf got hit for bear, it's just eleven damage. It's not that big of a deal. But you keep giving Puffin a bad spot to work from. Uh, yeah, I would have held my ground more. And Acebox is just shielding and crouching a lot now. I would have down through there actually. Tip or fair, Dude, up tilting, what do you, mm, you don't need to do that. It's Jigglypuff, she's the lightest character. You could just jump tip or fair. You could literally full hop fair right here, or running full hop fair. Both of them will tip her. And then she'll die for free, easy. You don't need to do that. And he's just being impatient. I feel like Zane's just like getting flustered right here. That's what it looked like. 
By the way, it's, Zane has never punished eight spots going to the ledge. So if, if I'm eight spots, I'm thinking oh, I can keep going to the ledge because so far in winners finals and this match, he's never punished it. Just another thing I noticed. Let me see here. Is Sabi even good? I feel like he didn't jump right away. I felt like that could have comboed. Yeah, because look, he, he didn't jump right away after the side B. But again, why not just like mix in wave dash down tilt with like run up, short hop fair backwards, well, short hop rising fair backwards. I think that's safe because even if you miss, it's not that big of a deal. I would have just done retreating fairs. I don't think you need the side B. Okay, so the so look, see how short hop nair combos? But the only reason this didn't combo into another fair is because you got the center hit. Um, if he got a tipper fair, this would have continued comboing. But since he got the 10 damage center hit fair, it's Bucks was able to get away because there wasn't enough hit stun at 13 to 23. There wasn't enough hit stun from center hit fair to continue to combo. So if you're going to get a, uh, basically what I'm saying is if you're going to get a, a short hop nair and you notice you can't get two short hop nairs, then the next best option is to full hop tip or fair, and then you can continue to combo. But if, if puffs are like around this number, or like 30% maybe, then you can start doing center hit fairs because it'll still combo. Just random notes. I would have threatened down tilt or crouch, uh, jab crouched or jab down tilt crouch or down tilt crouch or something holding your ground more here instead of always retreating to center. So you should mix up holding ground and then retreat to center. You should do this like maybe a third of the time and hold your ground like two thirds of the time. Because if you hold your ground every time, he can just work around it by pounding. But then dash away beats pound for free. So it's like everything has a weakness, but it doesn't mean you should do everything equally. Uh, I missed the throw, unfortunate. Oh, uh, I'm surprised that didn't grab. Yeah, sometimes it just doesn't grab. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's weird. Like, sometimes this grabs. Sometimes Puff will get grabbed, and sometimes she won't. I don't play the matchup enough to know the exact details, but there's basically like three hitboxes like this on Marf's body, and then sometimes Puff can duck it, and sometimes she can't. So it's like it's just, it's like really weird. And so. Itzbox always grabs that against Marth, so he never he never seems to try to rest it against Marth. So I guess I guess Itzbox should I guess Zane should just buffer roll or buffer dodge or dash away or something instead of shielding there, since Itzbox is always grab. It's shown that he will always grab his shield there. Yeah, that's not very safe. I have that same problem. Sometimes I just jump back and try to nair as Marth. I'm like, screw it, I'm just gonna jump nair, and then then I just get backered by Fox. I guess the same thing happens as Puff. It's, that's, that's the nair you do, and it's like, screw it. Let me just hit him with a nair and then try to combo off it. But that's not actually safe. <laughs> Jigglepuff, Fox, Falco, they destroy that stuff for free. Just get under Marsh and back air, trade to win, and, and Marsh's dead. Is he going to go to ledge again? No. He just gave him center for free. Come on. He did it again. And Itzbox didn't want to go. Itzbox is winning, so he didn't want to mi miss rest. Because look, so he went for rest. Marf was at nine here when he went for that. So basically, Puff wants to hit Marf with a low percent pound. That's because if he gets the the hit, you can get a big combo. You can do a fall, uh, up air, and then ma create your own combo. After the up air, it's a basically a make your own combo. You just you do more up airs or back air strings usually. Let's see, he didn't want to risk rest because look, Itzbox is already upper stock, so it's a lot safer for Itzbox to get a combo. Because if he, if he misses rest, then Zane could just come outplay him next stock and win. But it would be harder to outplay two two stocks, so he just went for the combo. And Ace Fox is just holding center, so that's why. The, he tech rolled in, and he's, he's just focused on holding this spot, so that's why that worked there. He did the same thing. He tried to drift away. Puff likes to drift, drift away or double jump away. Wait, why did that even work? Let me see here.
Ace of Axis landed in the middle. So he look, look at this situation. Zane has center. Zane's in a good spot. Ace Box is in the air. It's not too bad for either player, but Zane technically has the advantage when you look at where they're at. Now it's just he just lands here and Zane's now cornered himself. Why? Don't do that so much. I mean, again, I'm not saying never do that. Just you do it too much. He does it too much. That has not worked for him at all. He should threaten the ledge more. He's he's done it. He's done it exactly zero times. Right here, he could attack. He could attack with like dash, dance, wave dash, F smash, or F tilt, or jab, or or anything, anything. But he's never, ever, ever putting a sword here. Usually that's a good idea, but if you do it 0% of the time, your opponent will realize, oh wait, I can do this 100% of the time, and I'll never, ever, 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 ever get punished. So he just does the option he never, ever gets punished for. And he does that, never, ever gets punished for that. This is based off watching winner's finals, by the, by the way. And again, it's the same situation. He's just waiting around. Zane gets impatient. Forward smash equals, I'm going to get drill grab for free. That's what happens when Marf misses forward smash. And Zane's just basically being impatient. And it's so is just abusing Zane being impatient. And that's basically what I saw. <coughs> Let's see here. Again, why are you dashing away? Just you 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 have the advantage. Just, just from where you spawn, you 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 spawn here and he's here. You could just do something more aggressive than that. Throw out sword moves and crouch cancels a backup. Or something like that. Yeah, do a sword move and then Crouch cancel his backup, or do an aerial. Uh, but don't dash away. He's not even threatening you. He's up here in a bad spot. So far, these uh, empty jumps right here, they, they have not been working out for him in these, these matches I've watched so far. They have not been working out. So I recommend Marf do a shield, and then jump, short hop, rising near. Because that'll intercept Puff out of the air, I think. It, it ended up working there anyway, but see, so look, look how good crouching is. It's like crouching's so good. Look, he got hit. He was in the air when he got hit, but you just hold down, doesn't matter. <laughs> look, he gets down to it out of the air, or I think he was landing at around the same time he got hit, something like that. And then well, there's only like four frames of lag, and then. Just throw it a move. If he, if he gets a hit, it might be an edge guard. But uh, Marf can't kill Puff for missing that. So it is, he's like, I'll just do it anyway. It, it, you can't really safely edge guard there. Huh. Hey, it's box, just jump back to center. Look, jump back to center. He just took center for free. <laughs> Look, jump. <laughs> He's missing pivots. That's why I hate that. Okay, this is actually, you can call that out. If, especially on this slope, look. Puff can't even duck here. Even if Puff tried to duck for some reason, you still grab it. But most of the time, Puff will like mix up bear and grab here. If you read that, you literally can just down throw Joey Puff or forward throw. You can literally down throw into something or forward throw into something if you, if you read that. So he could have grabbed first, but it's a gamble. Because you have to hope that Puff's going to land and grab. So you have to guess. But you're basically guessing. You Both players are guessing. Yeah, that's a guess. Because it's like, basically the way it works is like, Puff stays right out of range, right? Like Puff wants Marf to think he can hit him. But Puff's barely out of range. But now if, look at it from Marf's perspective. Marf's like, oh crap, look where Puff is. Puff could easily back air me. Puff could back air me. I have to keep shooting. And then you get a grab. And then that, that's where that's one, that's one of the tricks. It's a really good trick. It's really abusable of Jigglypuff. Because you're always threatening bear, and then you, you don't have to grab. You can mix up bear with the grab. It, it, also, Puff's really good at beating people like swing. If, like, if Marf swings first, his moves don't linger. So like, look. If he swings way too early, okay, it was fine there. But if you if you swing too early and miss, like right there, you can see that coming from a mile away. You are just by jumping here, you could see, oh, Marf swung. 
now he's at, now I could either punish him or grab it or try to work around his shield. So swinging first, it's a, I would say that's more of a mix-up than something you should do every time. It's mainly as Marth. Because Marth's, they, if you miss fair, you're in a bad spot unless you're drifting back. Yeah, that was, that was unfortunate, but yeah. That, that was, again, uh, Ace Box says last time he did a landing fair here. This time he did a landing bear, and Zane just dashed into it. So Zane keeps getting hit by landing aerials when Yoshi's story, when Ace Box comes down. That happened two or three times now. It, it can't really do much. Puff has five jumps. <laughs> Puff takes the ledge for free. Hmm. Could he have shield grab? Yeah, I guess he was threatened by shield grab, so he's like, I don't want to get shield grab, so I dash away. I I, th I still feel like he should threaten down tilt and crouch down tilt and jabs more. I tried to get a trade this time. Traded, what, 25%. Basically, Marv's at low damage. He wants to get a pound. Marv can beat that by just waiting or just doing nares. But if you wait, you, you give up stage, so that's the mix-up. He did again. He did the down air at the ledge. Um, does that even does does that does this even work on good di? Does that even work on good di? I'm not even sure if it does or doesn't. So like when when Marf swings first like this, that's what I mean. Like, see if you're gonna do that fair, if Marf's gonna do that fair. He shouldn't do it like this. This is bad. I think this is bad, and here's why. I think if you're going to do the dash dance fair, you should drift back after you do the fair in case you miss. That way you're going to be here instead of here. It's a lot easier to whiff punish someone here than it is here, especially if Marv's fair. So if you're going to dash dance fair, pull back or full hop fair to try to hit and cover this range, and then use the top platform to double jump wave land. Uh, wave, wave land, whatever direction you want. Because those are two safer options. If you're going to short hop fair like this, look, let's look at how easy to whiff punish this is. Like, look. If you, now, look at from 8 box. It's like, oh, free hit. This is like a free hit. He's just drifting. It's like, there's no hitbox for the next half a second. Or almost half a second. Yeah, see, like that, he got away because look, he did full hot fair, and then uh, that one time he full hot fair. Uh, he didn't fair right away. I would have fared right away. That was actually a guaranteed fair. When you see puff above you like that, you you just you can go for the fair. Well, I, maybe actually never mind. It wasn't guaranteed, but you see what I mean, like like, and then you can you could have double jump and wave land away, and like you could wave land down or off or here, and then you can mix up if you want to come down with an aerial, your drift, or you can go back and fake out again. There's a lot of stuff you can do. I think Aidsbox tried to let's cancel. He, he Aidsbox tried to do the same trick he's been doing. Aidsbox keeps doing this downer here, and then ledge canceling, and then doing a second aerial. But I think he missed he missed the spot this time. And that's why I got punished. You can actually call that out if you know Puff's gonna bear and pull back. You can actually wave that F smash. But it's just I don't recommend doing it often because it's like it, if he does anything but that, you're screwed. But uh, yeah, I'm just saying everything can be punished. It's about how much you do it. Just everything has a weakness, but not the risk reward isn't always e equal based off what it is. Yeah, see, Xbox is just waiting for him to strike first a lot of time. See, this is what I was talking about earlier in the winner's final set. Nair to shield, it's so safe here, because usually Puff wants to jump, and the Nair beats the jump. But even if Puff crouches or, or shields, 
that's still safe because there's like almost n there's like only four frames landing lag, and you have a second hit coming down. So it's overall pretty good against Judy Puff in a lot of common situations. Like yeah, she could call it out, but it's not like you're doing it every time. You don't have to do it either. You could just wait. But yeah, sure. How Nair overall good against Puff out of shield. And it, uh, as you can see, look what it did here. Right here. You didn't even wait to block it. You, you can sometimes do it early or block and then do it. That was good. Let's see. Its box went in kind of impatiently and yeah, got hit. Uh, couldn't you have side bead and then up bead? Maybe. Never threatening the ledge for some reason. He, he never jabs. That almost killed, but Acebox has put himself in that situation. Acebox is whiff punishing a lot. He's waiting for Zane to swing first and then punishing. It's kind of like a game of patience. It's like, let's try to outpatient the other one. Not every time, though. Because Puff has mix ups, like dangerous mix ups, like land next to you or pound or landing aerials that can mix up the game of patience. But yeah, because of that slant, he he was it was an easy grab, you can't duck that. But look, Zane gave up all the stage. He didn't need to do that. He gave up the whole stage as Marth. And then he, he got impatient again, jumped early. He dashed away again. He didn't have to dash away. He keeps dashing away. Dash away is really good against pound, but it's not the best. It's not always worth giving up all the, all your stage control. And a good player can manipulate that by uh, calling out your dashing. And then he, he got buried because he tried to jump in impatiently. A lot of this is just Zane being impatient. He's just do he's just acting right away and then doing the obvious response, like look fair, and then he goes into a shield because it's like oh puff jump, puff's gonna bear. Ace Bucks knows everyone shields, so you do that. But just be again, being cornered forces you into bad 50-50s. That's a 50-50. Mathematically, it's like a 50-50. So uh, you definitely don't want to give puff center for free in this matchup because then you have to gamble bad 50-50s and. I'm not saying it's, it's not, I'm, I'm just saying 50-50 as like, to make it simpler to understand. There's obviously a lot more options, like, it's melee, there's so many different options. I'm bring, bringing it down to 50-50 just so it's easier to understand. It's obviously more than 50-50, like, there's a lot more options than that. I'm just trying to explain why holding center gives you the advantage, basically. And why Zane giving up center so often as Marf versus Puff is not the best. He did it again, the... A lot of this is just like the same as the last Yoshi's games. Like nothing really different than the last Yoshi's games. Too much dash away, not enough holding your ground, not enough jabs, not enough down tilt, not enough crouch cancel. See, so see, if Marf swings first, it's a bad spot for Marf. And then this whole time, you you have to guess if is Puff going to fair or grab, and you have to just guess one. You know, if you guess wrong, you're going to be hit off stage again. It's not like Marv could ledge dash. Fox has a broken ledge dash that doesn't care. He can go to the middle of Yoshi's story of invincible attack. <laughs> he can literally go. To, Fox can literally go to the middle of Yoshi's story for an invincible move. He tried the same dare thing again. Oh, that was really good. Uh, thank you, Kro Krozik, for the sub. So he did a good pound punish. Acebox thought he was going to fair again, which you know makes sense. But then he did an uppy. It's a DI trick. Uh, that, so that's good. It's a good mix up. Yeah.
Yeah, what if I would not uh, right here? Like, look, right here, Puff's not in a good spot. So the only way Puff can get out of this bad spot easily is to wait and hope Marf gives it up for free. So what happens? Puff waits, Marf gives up for free. But uh, you didn't have to do that. You could have done down tilt, crouch, jab, crouch, down tilt into jab, other moves, holding your ground more. But he just like, and I'm gonna give away my space. You don't need, you didn't need to do that. I mean, it's not a bad option, but Puff was in a horrible spot. Keep her there, more often, at least. This, what he did in there, that's the norm for Zane. He does that a lot as default. But uh, that should be the mix-up, not the norm, I think. And low percent, so he pounds. Yeah. Okay. Like, why are you jumping here? Just, just jump here. Don't jump here. Jump here. What's Puff going to do? Puff can't. Puff's going to go over here and pound you? That takes way too long. And it's not safe. And you're fair with trader win. Puff can't do anything if you're jumping here. There's a platform protecting you. Makes that any, makes going this way take too long. Going here is dangerous. Puff could go try to go here, try to get, try to land. But if you walk here from here to here, when she goes above you, then that's not safe. As long as you're around this area, forcing her to the ledges, she has to fight from disadvantage, no matter what. You can do mix-ups from there, but it shouldn't be the norm. It should be the mix-up only. So look, he did that. And then Zane should just Zane could just jump here, like short hop here, threaten fair, up air, double jump aerials, all this stuff. But he jumps here. What do you no? No. No. <laughs> Dude, like look, what what look at it, look, look at this from H Box's perspective. If I'm H Box, I'm just waiting for him to swing first. Look, look. Because I know he's going to swing first because he kept doing it. Look, he swung first, and now he's like, he doesn't want to get hit. So now Acebox can do mix-ups around his shield. And that's dangerous because Puff, Puff could uh, read what you're doing, up air you into a KO or a big combo, up tilt you to KO or big combo, grab a shield and then throw you to the ledge and get center back. A bunch of stuff. You don't want to be in here, this situation, very often. So he did that. He swung first, and that, that just, on reaction, if he's waiting, it's an easy punish. That was good because he crouched. See, it's a crouch cancel backup plan. So like you have a plan A, like you try to get away, right? But then you're, you're holding down just in case you get hit. I do that a lot with, with Smash in general. It's really good. Xbox keeps doing the down air to the ledge and then, he keeps ledge canceling in this set. See right here, he has to play 50-50. But he, he did, the, you saw the bubble pop up, he shielded again. Zane keeps shielding off habit. See, right there, you do that jump because you, you want to avoid the invincible fair. See, it's boxes that jump because it's like, what else are you going to do? You want to, um, all Marf can really do is invincible fair, right? A lot of Marfs swing early. Now, what you could do is mix ups if you're Marth. You could just uh, not do fair shield because he's what he, he Xbox expects you to do forward air to shield. So that's why he jumps away, threatens bear, and then grabs you as a 50 50. You could do wave land down, wave land to, the, to center. Or fair into like a dash, or fair to spot dodge, or fair to roll. Anything except fair to hold shield. And those would have been good mix ups to fair shield. For that he could use, that Zane could use in the future in this versus Jigglypuff. Um, <coughs> thank you, Leaves Cat, for the sub. And that was just like a, you forward throw, and then it's just like a guessing game, but it's a, it's a dangerous guessing game for the person off stage. So it's like you throw, and it's like you, you DI in because he, he thinks you go to the ledge. So he thinks you're going to go in, and he does a bear. You could drift here and avoid it, or you could double jump over it. But then you can, he can read the double jump over. And you could go here, but then it takes more steps to get to here. It's just a, overall, with every combination considered, it's a bad position. So it's like tries to put you in that bad position. So you have to take bad guesses. Even like Zane could do a fair and then hit Ace Box, but then Ace Box is only going to take damage. If he's wrong. If H box is wrong, he takes like 10, 13 damage. If H box is right, this situation where Marf's in a horrible, horrible spot it happens. Uh, thank you, HDC, for the sub. <coughs> and he keeps dying for those weak fares. That's happened so many times. 
See, it is, again, it's like Marf swings first and then gets hit for free. I'm not saying you should never fair, like, look. If, so, if, if Ace Box did something more aggressive, that fair would work. But uh, you, it's also easy to just to float under somebody, wait for them to strike, and be like, oh, free hit. That guy actually could have been a downer, and, it and the game would have ended. Uh, right here, he could have done any area out of shield. Right here? Yeah, he's ducking the grab, right? But if, you, if, if, you, if, if you're Marf and Puff, you're thinking, oh, Puff's like, oh, I want to duck the grab. But then Marf's like, oh, if I know Puff's going to duck the grab, then I can do a short hop fair backwards or a short hop nair towards him. You could do like a short hop auto cancel nair like this, first slash and second slash and still have four frames landing lag. And the Puff would probably try to crouch grab you and then you can dash away and all this other stuff. Or you could just fair backwards out of shield, short hop fair backwards out of shield. But then Puff could uh, forward air you. Oh, and if you're expecting this downer thing, again, you can just light shield it or just move away. Puffs like to kill at floaties with short hop dare to, uh, Puffs like to use down air to get a kill. Because uh, it shield stabs really well. Did I watch that right? That's how the tournament ended. Look how happy he is that the turn ended this way. Look, look how happy Zane is that the turn ended this way. It's like, you want to kill me? Nope. <laughs> That's how it ended. Wait, I don't watch it over and over.